Hello all, today we are going to learn on how to use VirusTotal API for scanning for malwares and threats on your systems and servers. So let's get started. There are various pre-built binaries for VirusTotal which can be used. I am personally using VT for this particular session. The first step of this is to initialize the environment using VT init command and providing your API key to it. You can get access to your API free of cost from VirusTotal website post the user registration. Next, we can check the domain for any malicious payloads using the command VT domain and giving the domain name after it. Further, we can scan the file or URL using the VT scan command like this. Once we have scanned the file or the URL, we can then use the VT analysis command to see the results. Next, we can also check a status of an IP address using the VTIP command. This will show us the malware information on the given IP address. Lastly, we can utilize the VT file command to see the information on a file hash. We can use various filters to look at file behavior, bundle files, domains involved, IPs in the URLs, reference in the file, dropped files, and much more. Now, let's see all of this in action on a command line. All right, so we are here on our black and white screen. So what we need to do as a first step is to initialize our virus total instance. So what we need to do is type VT in it and press enter. Here it'll ask you for an API key. Give your API key and press enter and it'll initialize. It will write it to a configuration file which is hidden under your home directory. Once it is initialized, let's start to scan a domain first. So in our example, we used a domain which is 100 or rather 100 like.org. So that's the domain that we want to search and we want to grab a keyword result out of it. While we are gripping the result, we need to sort and give us a unique count of the strings in there. So let's see what happens. So we get to see that VirusTotal has scanned a domain, which is 100like.org, and it has detected four phishing type instances and two malicious instances of this particular domain. Similarly, what we can do is we can scan a URL, and let's say we give our proton ts.in as the URL to scan through the virus total. Let's see what the result says. So it gives us a unique ID, which is the analysis ID. So remember, we talked about the VT analysis command. So we need to type VT analysis and give the analysis ID along with it. Now, while we are giving the analysis ID, press enter and it will start to give you the results on the screen. While it is not easy to read, what we can do, we can use the grep again and say result. That's what we want to capture. And we want to sort that and give us a unique count. So what we see is 69 as clean and 24 unrated, which means it is not there in the database of virus total. So it is not with 100% confirmance that we can say whether this is malicious or not. Similarly, what we can do, we have a satin.bin here. So what we can do is we can do vt scan file and this time we are saying satin.bin and that's it. We get the analysis ID here as well. So let's run it through the vt analysis and then give the same identifier here. Again, grep result sort and then unique hyphen C. And we get to see that these are the results. So this particular file has been identified as the virus or the malware across the virus total. Now the next is to scan an IP address. So VT IP and then give an IP address here. So we are using an IP address which is 43, 156, 21 and 230 and then let's scan it. And we see that virus total has detected this 
as a malicious IP and also it is giving us a who is information about this IP. So we can see that this IP belongs to a country Singapore and other related registration information of the IP. Now again, if we pass it through our favorite grip, sort it and then give us a unique count. And what we see is it is being detected as malicious or malware with at least seven instances of the antiviruses or the anti-malwares. Similarly, you can use the power of VirusTotal with your API key to integrate this into various softwares that you can think about. You can create a malware hunting platform as well for yourself and keep playing with it. It's a great tool. Please do use it, leverage it and like, subscribe our channel. Till the time next video comes out, enjoy and take care.